GPA wants the Metro Division Championship. He's tired of being overlooked. That's pretty much. Passed over for a title shot that was, what was it, the May 17th of last year, well, 2014? That's, that's the Let problem. Let me check my notes. Yeah, May 17th. If you consistently defeat opponents and you have proven yourself, well, that should obviously mean that the next step is that you go ahead and you earn the opportunity to get a title shot. I mean, it makes sense that way, doesn't it? And look it not? what CS, yeah, exactly, it makes sense. And look what CSW did. They stuck him in the ring with a guy, Alex Romero, who many of you may not know this. This guy's a dangerous striker and a shooter. He wrestles and uh, boxes, does kickboxing, does MMA, all that stuff, man. This guy's a dangerous fighter. Well, we'll talk about Colin Cambridge and how he earned the title Colin shot. Colin Cambridge, where? What are you doing? Oh. This is between GPA oh. Oh. and Alex Romero, and Romero has that right shoulder heavily taped. Are we aware of any previous injury going into this match? Oh, the guy's practicing so much MMA on the side. Of course he's going to be injured going into this match. At some point, these guys overdo it. Now, what were you saying about Colin Cambridge before I rudely interrupted you? He was in that Taste of Gold stand October 2014 on the losing end against Jazz, Marche, Willie, all at the same time. So what? Well, he's, he, he qualified and he's been winning matches. So the only one to beat Willie, the Bomb Richardson, and Mitch Blake in recent months. And that has put him and escalated him not just in the heavyweight standings, but in the Metro Division standings too. But this isn't about Cambridge. This isn't about Jazz. We'll talk about them me, later. Are you trying to tell me that Colin Cambridge has passed GPA over for a title shot at the Metro Division Champion? Yeah, they might both have the declaration of saying they are top contenders, number one contenders. GPA will have to win this match, hope for the best, and then eventually earn a title shot against the winner of the Metro Division title match later. Could be Cambridge, could be Jazz, but clearly GPA has his eyes focused on Jazz instead of anyone else. GPA so defeated Brad Kevins at Edison Park Inn. Were you impressed with his victory against Kevins? Oh, absolutely. Uh, but but he, just... he sort of grabbed the ropes in order to attain victory. Don't you agree that Sort that of. Was... He sort of did. Sort of? I, sort of, yeah. Nice he... twisting elevation by Romero to avoid the... Don't remind me. Don't remind me of that kid twist. Okay, the gang banger thing, you know. The, 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 you know. GPA takes a nasty tumble outside the ring. I don't like that word twist. I'd rather you swear. I know this is a family show, and then you have red. Romero uh, taking a chance as he leaps onto the ring apron from the second rope. GPA just walked away. Well, he's calling for a timeout, Steve. You can do that? No, you can't, but he's doing it anyway. Meanwhile, Alex Romero, Romero is the size of Head right off of right his shoulders. In his face. I'm telling you, this guy's a dangerous wrestler. You were kidding. No, I wasn't. He was out to, to knock him head first in the into the field goal post on the outside of the building. Yeah. I've never seen Guy run so fast in his life. Well, the parking lot is at the, in that direction. The field goal's full. The, the, well, never mind. I went to high school here, so I All right, so top light heavyweights in the nice. Midwest in just one year's time. Alex Romero making a huge name for himself throughout the independence and is here in Chicago-style wrestling. Maybe to steal all the thunder away from GPA sales. 
maybe not all the thunder. GPA is too good to have anything stolen of that magnitude or that amount. This you know is about fame, this is about championship standing, and with X-Pac watching, and being the fact that he is a cruiserweight, light heavyweight sensation himself, both of these men want to impress tonight. Yeah, but did you see the way Romero protected himself uh, to no avail? And something else that needs to be mentioned, you talk all about Romero's MMA credentials. Yes. You gotta talk about I see GPAs, them. Lucha Libre credentials. He's currently a champion of a Lucha Libre organization Which with, one? With, with worldwide media exposure. Is that the name of the organization? Gal worldwide no. Media Exposure, Gal WWE. Galley Lucha Libre. Oh, okay, Galley. Yeah, so at any rate, a shout out to Galley and the promoter, Carlos Robles. The question is, the GPA, has GPA been winning legitimately? Of course. And, and does and based off of his his current streak of victories, does he deserve to be the next in line to face Jazz for the well, title? Yeah, considering he had a title shot May 17th of 2014 here at Ridgewood High School, and Acid Jazz just didn't show up, and they didn't pull the Bill Watts UWF stunt where they just stripped Acid Jazz of the title and awarded it to the top contender due to a no-show or a forfeiture. Now let's talk about GPA and his studying and his preparation. It seems like every match that he's involved in, he he seems like he scouts his opponents and knows what they're gonna do before they do it. And that drop kick was right on the money. I think that was a receipt for what happened earlier on the outside when he had his head kicked off of his shoulders. Look at GPA's face, it's turning colors. Yeah, because he's angry. He hasn't been able to put him away. I'm telling you, this is too dangerous of an opponent. He, maybe he didn't scout the guy. I don't know. Well, uh, no, he had to have scouted the guy. He's too smart for that. This guy's a genius. Yeah, you know he scouted him. Maybe he just knows that he's got the ability. Metro champion. Next Metro champion. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? He, he, he's made the claim, Stan. He has made the claim. Until we see GPA face a champion. We're not going to be so sure if he is true on his word. Backsplash in the corner. You can see the double ricochet yeah. of Romero's skull He's as he flipped back and forth from the turnbuckle pad forward into the kneecap. Very arrogant cover after delivering that backsplash and an elbow. Much right like Bo face. Anderson did earlier. But eventually Anderson won that match. Will GPA be successful here? Uh, hopefully. Uh, Watch out. Look at GJ and the strength as he just drove Romero down with that backbreaker once and again. You know what? I'm telling you, he ain't gonna be able to put him away with that. I, I, I've been watching this Romero guy. He works out on his back and everything. That's the one thing that, you know, this guy's resilient. GPA getting a little frustrated all of a sudden, noting, noting that he, he had Romero in a damaged position to win, and he still found an escape. GPA sends Romero from one side of the ring to the other. And keep corner in mind, to corner. that shoulder is hurt. He keeps getting thrown into the corner. Moves out of the way. GPA misses with the backsplash that time. Missing the tornado forearm shot. Go behind. Reverse. GPA had it wiped out. And then that leaping. And Zagiri, man. My goodness. with the entire bone of his right leg. But GPA's not knocked out. Have you noticed that? A the dude's on bone. his knees, but he's not. Yeah. He just, that was like a weeping, shining wizard attack. Romero shaking his head violently as he continues to fight on GPA. Every single one of those shots being blocked. Counter, ducks the clothesline. Running clothesline by Romero. GPA, slow to get See? up. look at that. He's doing the kata thing that the martial arts is getting sized up. He's sizing him up, he's getting ready. He's gonna deliver some striking blow. Chop to the chest. Damn. Not done yet. Up and under. Look at that leaping side kick. Every kick more vicious than the last. Romero hooks the leg. Wow, Almost. that was close. I'm telling you, this Romero guy is dangerous. This is not some guy to take lightly. 
Romero giving it his all. GPA has been kicked. He has been struck upon numerous times. And now look at this return on the investment. A triplicate of jawbreakers. He may have gotten them. Romero has crumbled and still manages an escape. This is a guy who gets used to getting hit. Romero. But he got him good. I mean, he so him. dizzy and disoriented. He's trying to move away from his opponent. GPA stalking him as he turns around, trying for another jawbreaker. Romero pushes off, misses in the corner. GPA tries an up kick. Look at that. Twisting, spinning, discus forearm shot right to the side of the jaw. Double stop. He moved out of the way. Rolling. Oklahoma roll pinning attempt. The foot was on the rope and Gaetano oh, no, counted a three no. anyway. Call it like it is. about the fact that GPA scored the win as he points to his brain as Romero's trying to figure out he's puzzled why the referee kept counting if his leg was draped on the rope.